Comrade Major. Yes? Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon, a hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? That's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah... I guess so. The Hawk Workshop for Thermarium is one of the Vavilov Complex's most challenging and difficult to maintain testing grounds. It is designed for the production of specialized energy-consuming polymers and the breeding of experimental plants capable of thriving and propagating in extreme temperatures. The workshop's achievements include dozens of heat-resistant crops that are already being used to end famine in drought-afflicted regions like North Africa and Central Asia. But the true goal of the hotshop's research goes far beyond that. With polymer treatment, Future heat-resistant plants will populate the hothouses of Mars and the cloudy gardens of Venus. Hot as balls in here. You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Ah, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. 
They must be in a room somewhere around here. look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. The boiler's too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. Okay, I found the opening. Cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Lug this shit to the boiler myself?
Four left. Gee, are you sure? Good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. Okay, second one's all set. with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. There are no human crews inside these robots. All critical elements are located in the back and at the bottom of the assembly. You find these either along its central axis or on the inside of its wheels or legs. The central portion, the one that gets hit most, is merely a decoy, which is something that our Western friends have now learned all too well. You see, it contains almost no vital parts, and what few parts it has are rather small and protected by several layers of armor. There are no human crews inside these robots. All critical elements are located in the back and at the bottom of the assembly. You find these either points in the I'm gonna go grab some lunch. You want anything? Ah, don't do me any favors. I marched all the way to Berlin in my day. I can make it to the cafeteria. Thank you very much. Oh, chill out. Just trying to help. You know all the mashed potatoes will be gone and then I'll have to hear all about it. Ah. Go on, I'll catch up to you. 
I'll probably Authorization. get there first. Authorization. These people. What? I'm not a man anymore because I lost my leg? I don't need nobody to bait me. I can get there myself without their help. I don't want pity. I want respect, damn it. I'll be running laps around you yet. Mark my words. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacti cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. What's that supposed to mean? It's hot. You're hot, huh? Hey, you want to try going to the Urals and be a steel worker, eat for half shit. That'd make a man of you, I tell you. But look at him. Instead, he's over there with his pretty flowers bitching about the heat. We crack up, don't give a goddamn about no heat. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. We'll hop right into an oven or a volcano at the drop of a hat. So don't come in for it to me, Bob. Once the update collected, everything will be hunky-dory. And if someone starts bitching, they ain't worth shit. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the brown plague. Chariton Radionovich Zaharov was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. 
They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Falateva? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. Saving data. Please select the desired procedure. this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock, but there's something wrong with this sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Their attention is not advised. Too late.
you cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first, so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing. But the way they slowly walked towards the humans, it was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was, since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds, very quickly. Robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks, like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Athanasi. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-cell plant life to livestock and other animals. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium.
Who? Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. Yeah, the name is a 
attached. It's spinning. That should do the trick. Even if we're just swine, who gave us the right to mistreat the other swine, right? I'm awful sorry, I truly am. God knows it's true. You died a hero's death. I'm even thinking about building a memorial camp. I promise I will. Sometimes I think that when put to classical music, the convulsions themselves become the kind of dance of death. After all, Did I just kill all of them? It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. Young plants. Facility scientists do not have the luxury of waiting days for experimental seeds to sprout or to monitor the growth of fruits and shoots in real time. This is where the new polymer-based fertilizer and the Boreas weather simulation system come into play. Combined, they cut the time between planting a seed and getting a fully grown plant, in some cases, within less than a day. but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Access granted. Sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to 
stay on and you don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blade. got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Shit. What's the matter with it? What am I supposed to do? The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. have come up with a new pastime. They're playing tic-tac-toe on the breeding beds. One of them plants corn and the other plants tomatoes. And they go back and forth like that. I was going to chew them out, but then I realized it's actually a decent little game. It's like a whole new kind of chess. What do you think about opening an agricultural gaming club?
Access granted. station.
restart the ventilation system. The lunch break for staff members is now beginning. Regular personnel are to remain at their workstation. Say, finally. Attention, employees. Access to the pesticide workshop is now available. Let's get the hell out of here. Please select the desired procedure.
sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister, 